Well, Fox News alert that will impact your access to the World Wide Web. The FCC just voted to approve strict new regulations on Internet providers, treating them like the telephone companies or public utilities. It's called net neutrality, and here's what's involved with it. Proponents say net neutrality makes for a more open Internet by preventing your service provider from blocking or slowing down your access to, to sites online. But critics warn the rules would be expensive, stopping them from upgrading their networks or improving Proven customer service. Also, internet service providers say the rules will hinder investment in faster broadband service, slowing down customers who may want more speed. Morgan Wright is a cybersecurity analyst and the founder of Safe Life. So, Morgan, this news just breaking really over the last few minutes. Right. We're we're in, connected to the internet almost everywhere we go, whether it's on our phone, on our computer, or otherwise. How will this impact our lives? Uh, there's going to be a lot of OMG moments for a lot of people who are used to getting all the access they want. And I'll tell you, it's Milton Friedman's lessons being revisited. In the end, of, at the end of the day, Jenna, the people who are going to pay for this are you and me, the consumers. The people are going to have to pay more expensive access, have to pay for equipment if it's upgraded. This is not free and look it's the government getting involved in this i mean what could go wrong right so walk us through it a little bit AT&T, these service providers, Verizon, they were not happy with this. But then you had content providers like Apple, for example, that thought it was a good idea. Can you walk us through why some were against it and why some were for it? You know, it, 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 we'll condense it down real quick. It's complicated, but it's the way people get paid. It's the way they make money. The carriers, and having worked with a company who used to provide a lot of equipment to the telcos, they the last thing they want is more government regulation, more costs on their network to be able to provide this. How However, people on the other hand, the people who provide content, they don't want the uh, service providers restricting them or throttling them. Netflix, I mean, video generates a tremendous amount of content on the internet. Mobile internet traffic uh, uh, was responsible for more than half of the internet traffic last year, according to Cisco. So, I mean, there's, there's, uh, there's people who provide the hardware, software, the connectivity, but people who provide the content, good for them, bad for the other guys. So are you saying in, in an effort to try, and this is the, the intention by those that say this is a good idea, to make everybody have access in, in the same way to whatever searches they're doing online uh, will be slowed down and perhaps not be able to develop uh, new products, new technology right. that will help us on the web. Just, do I have that clear? Yeah, you're, you're pretty close there, Jen. I mean, what it's going to do is it's going to, a lot of the innovation that was happening is going to get slowed down. Uh, you know, a lot of the broadband speeds, America still suffers because we have one of the slowest broadband speeds, you know, proportionally compared to the rest of the world. So we were already behind. This is going to even put us farther behind the people who work from home, who telecommute, people want to set up their own home-based business, anything like that. This is just going to lead to a lot of significant issues because the people who have to maintain the most expensive piece of the network, which is the hardware, the big stuff are not going to want to invest because it's going to cost them more. And again, at the end of the day, guess where that cost goes? So Back the, to you and well, me. There is some expectation that this is going to be challenged uh, in the courts. But Morgan, yep. what, what would I experience it, if this actually does go into effect and I'm sitting at my computer on a regular day? Will it look differently to me than it looks now when I'm searching on the web? Yeah, you know, a couple of the things that could happen, when, when you don't upgrade the networks and there's new software technologies that takes advantage of faster speeds, you're going to have degraded service because it's incompatible with what you, if, think of trying to install a very old operating system onto a brand new computer. That's what you're going to have in a sense. It's just not going to work as well. It's not going to be compatible. You know, and we have a short amount of time, but this could take an hour just talking about yeah. all the ways that this is going to impact. And security, to me, is one of the biggest uh, areas it's going to impact. I'm glad you mentioned that. And we do we only have about a minute here at Morgan, but can you talk us through the security side of it? It is remarkable to know how much we use the internet and yet yep. how little we actually know about the technology. So what about the security side? Look, the more talk, the more things that you add to this network, the more complex you make it. Complexity breeds vulnerabilities, but simplicity breeds security. It's, it's a paradigm you have to understand if you're in this business, which they do. But the more things we introduce, the more we allow the government to touch it and regulate it, the more that the UN through the 
ITU, the International Telecommunications Union, and has access to this. It, what it's going to do is, uh, this is one of my talking points I sent in to you guys, but I, I think this is going to create huge vulnerabilities because we're putting more government regulation, we're putting more touch points, more things to regulate it in place, and anytime that happens, Jenna, we know the more windows you open, the more times these bad guys will come in through them. There's some, a lot to consider there, a lot. Uh, certainly, again, the internet's so pervasive. Morgan, thanks for helping us work through the breaking news. I'm sure we're going to revisit this many times over the next several weeks and months. For a lot of years, <laughs> Maybe yes. Exactly, decades. <laughs> thanks, Morgan. You bet, Jenna. Complicated stuff.